Hey you guys, this is Dave from the Wackadilly's website and uh, I was changing uh, out my stock controller for my 08 EasyGo TXT electric golf cart and it was really hard to find information on it so I'm going to tell you guys how to do this. The first thing is you know to switch it out we have the old 1206 controller it's a Curtis controller I bought a Curtis uh, 1205M-5606 500 amp controller uh, that I'm replacing the old one with and I also put in a 8 horsepower motor uh, into my golf cart. You want to be sure to upgrade your solenoid if necessary for this guys. This is a picture of the old controller, the 1206 controller and you can see it, it has a pin connector on it which is uh, right around here. I don't have a tripod to hold this camera. Anyway, it's uh, the pin connector was the hardest part. Those wires on it, the diode and the resistor two are important to have on your, uh, your solenoid, okay? So the low voltage wires you can see on the left that's these over here. You got your white, black, orange, and red. And then you have your spade connectors on the new controller, the 05M model. And you could see where the old connector wires go to on the new model, 5205. And uh, the J numbers are corresponding right there. J1 is red, two is white, three is black and five is orange. This port over here, this white one, that's for programming. So you're not going to pay too much attention to that. All right. Now you can see on this slide, I wrote down where A1 goes, the battery negative and battery positive wires. The A2 post is not used. That has to do with a braking system of some sort, which I don't have. So you're not going to need that. And then here is your selector switch. This is for obviously the series type electric golf cart. And you could see where the wires go. Wire A, D, C, B, uh, where they go to uh, from this diagram. That's, that's pretty good. I use this. So it worked for my golf cart. And then here is the actual photo after I installed the controller to the cooler uh, pad. And you're going to have to do some work on that because the bolts don't fit. So I ended up just drilling through it and I put some bolts of my own in there to hold the controller in place. Uh, then I had to kind of fabricate the bracket a little bit to hold the solenoid on it and you could see right here the solenoid I had to mess around with that bracket there but otherwise all this high voltage wire same as the old controllers and the main thing is behind this loom you're gonna see where your J plugs are and they have to be correct you could take uh, the reverse one doesn't need to be on there I put it on because I don't want my car to go too fast and uh, I got a lot of help doing this but you know, our website is LordJack8080, Wackadillies. That's where this video will be posted. Uh, I do want to thank Mike at Mountain Golf Cars, Inc. He was extremely helpful for putting this information together. Uh, that's his website, golfcarcatalog.com. His number is 1-800-328-1953. And uh, like I said, I couldn't have done this project without him. Thanks again, Mike. Okay, guys, until next time, have a good day.